Thomas, talk to me now about the motivation for doing this movie and what message you wanted to put across uh, in putting uh, uh, Cook Off uh, Show the movie. Um, well, I think one of the things that, uh, that I felt, um, and certainly that was one of the synergies that I had with Joe um, on this particular script, uh, talking about the film, was that generally the narrative that comes out of Africa, but, and, and very specifically out of Zimbabwe, is, is this single narrative. It's like no one has anything else to say about us except for our political and economic woes. Mm-hmm. And we really felt that we wanted to, to tell a different story. We wanted to expand the narrative and show that that's not the sum total of who we are as Zimbabweans. So we were really keen to, you know, to tell something else, something, something. So uh, for, for me, then the idea of, um, of a romantic comedy, the idea of, a, of an underdog story, even, even the setting of it being set in a reality TV show. Because obviously for us in Zimbabwe, you know, yes, cool, the Battle of the Chefs is a real show. It's actually on television. But for a lot of people out there, their perception of Zimbabwe, of Africa, for them to imagine that we also have reality TV is kind of like, you know, it's mind blowing for them because they just imagine us as, you know, a bunch of people living in a village. Uh, you know, the fact that we have a capital city and an airport and, you know, and TV and things happening, uh, this is like, this is news to them. <laughs> this allows us as, as Zimbabweans to show that actually we are, we are normal, you know, in yeah. terms of global now of what's mm. happening, mm. Of, of the reality that everyone is living in. We are also part of that reality. Mm. And I think so th- that really is where the, where the you know, the initial focus, the inspiration to tell this kind of like feel good, uh, romantic comedy, underdog story came from.